Thanks, Pete. I feel like I'm in a sauna. Well, the grill's going behind us, too. That's not terrible. Oh, I thought it was because you guys are so hot. Oh, yeah. I wish. Years ago, years no. ago. The grill's on. The grill's on. I'm past the hot in the stage. So what's going on? Well, first, I, I'm not doing anything with these peppers, but I want to do a little pepperology. Oh, these are all okay. homegrown peppers, whether from farmer's market or local markets that I stopped at. Uh, bell pepper, of course, nice and sweet. This is called a, a hot yellow pepper, and they're medium hot. They are pretty good. Okay. Then we move on to the, the, the beautiful jalapenos mm -hmm. that are delicious. The habaneros, everybody kind of like, oh my goodness. I actually had some rice, a rice dish last night where I took a habanero and I just tossed it whole and I had that sweet flavor of the habanero in there but it didn't sting. Oh. So I didn't open up the seeds. I didn't expose the seeds at all. That's, and it, it that's was delicious. very clever. Scotch bonnet right there. That's cute little this bonnet. one right here, that's Randy McKeever. Honest to God, I'm, I'm double protected here. That's a ghost pepper. That's the dreaded ghost pepper. We had about six people this fall already that talked about ghost peppers, and that baby is piping hot. So you don't even want to touch it? No, my understanding, I don't know if you can see this little speck right there. Yeah. That's what you throw in a batch of chili. Get out. Seriously, that's okay. a ghost pepper. Right. You don't want All to right. touch it. Now, didn't you use those last week? I did, except for they're from Minnesota, and these are Wisconsin ones. Oh, oh these, these I think I would enough. like those better. Those are cheese head peppers. Yes, yep. they are. Real okay. quick here, uh, ribs on a stick from Festival Food. Uh, the Pork Association just came out that 145 degrees is just fine for getting pork done. How many? 145 degrees. Okay. All right. But you can go up to 160, 165, but the old days of 185 are gone. Okay. Glisten them with an oil. You season them up with a little maybe Grandma Hazel's rub or your favorite blend of rubs. Okay. They go directly on the grates of the grill. M nice, medium, low heat. The same as our October Fresh, fresh Brats from Festival Food. You don't want to blister them babies and sear them up. That's a nice, medium heat. Perfect. Just slowly cook them. All right. Good Rib stuff. That smells good. Smells good. And what are you working on, I was on, in Indiana the other day, and this gentleman you? was from India. He says, how come you don't do any India dishes? Let's do so it. So for the guy, we're going to do some India dishes I'm here. I'm half Indian. Are you? I'm, I okay, am. Okay, all right. Okay, well, anyway. We've got some boneless chicken thighs here. I'm sort of acupuncturing them. Okay. Just poke them really good. And for the sauce here, that I'm going to marinate these. And you really should marinate this for about 8 to 12 hours. i got a good cup, We're gonna cup of yogurt. We're going to 8 to 12 minutes. Right, exactly. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use some cayenne pepper. Because right, I'm good hungry. You? Yeah, I am too. Okay, so you have yogurt? Yeah, yogurt. Cayenne? Yep, ground cumin. You want a good cumin. tablespoon in there. You want to spice it up. Cool. All right. The uh, turmeric, turmeric, turmeric. Oh. is what you want to do. This is what gives it the color, yeah. okay. a nice red color, and some ginger. Mm. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to put some minced garlic in there a little bit later. But you want to go at least a good tablespoon on okay. this, all right? Wow. Mix that all up. Get that really thin. Pour that over the chicken. Yum. And then let it sit oh. for a good eight hours. You really right. should. And isn't curry kind of a blending of some of those spices? Well, yeah. I think so. I think curry's a blending of some of those right. spices. Right, yeah, because you got some We're together. learning some new things, pepperology and, and Indian cooking yeah. here on the grill. Yeah, I'm going to put panko crumbs on my ribs on a stick so we can see how they turn out. I love that. Let's so, try it. Yeah. Oh, and hey, real quick, hi, Bill. Bill became a grillologist. His wife stopped at the uh, Festival Food. Hi, Bill. Us. Hi, He's Bill. a grillologist we got to go now, but right. hi, Bill. Well, hi, Bill. Yeah. And you can see these guys Sunday mornings on the CW14, 9.30 a.m., and they'll be back next hour grilling with Pete. We'll be right back. Yeah.